Welcome aboard the Bitcoin Express. My name is Chase, let's get to it. In this video, I'm going to show you how a person can execute a flash loan with zero coding experience. And the reason this is so interesting is because typically to make a successful flash loan, number one, you need to know how to code. And on top of that, number two, you also need to be a skilled developer who understands blockchain, smart contracts, and how to program using Solidity, the programming language for Ethereum. So you're definitely going to be interested in what I have to show you today. And a quick recap of what a flash loan is. A flash loan is a loan that is used to make money by taking advantage of arbitrage opportunities or price discrepancies, price differences between different exchanges. Here's a very simple example. Let's say a cryptocurrency is, is selling for $100 on exchange A, and on exchange B, it's selling for $101. So you buy it on exchange A, send it over to exchange B, and sell it. You made a $1 profit. Now you might be thinking, what's the big deal? $1 difference? That's nothing. But when it comes to flash loans, you can do this on a grand scale. So you can do this with a loan of $1,000. $20,000, $50,000, $100,000. So those little differences of $1 or even pennies in some cases makes a huge difference. This picture I have in front of me, I, I love it. It really explains flash loans perfectly. So with a flash loan, you can take out a loan uncollateralized, meaning you don't have to put anything up to take it because it needs to be borrowed and repaid in the same transaction. If it's not borrowed and repaid in the same transaction, then the flash loan is unsuccessful. So there's pretty low risk, people would say, in flash loans. So the, what this picture shows is you can take your flash loan, let's just say $100,000 worth of Ethereum, and then number two, you go wild. You can do whatever you want with it. You can sell it, you can exchange it, you can use it to lend, you can use it to borrow. You do whatever you want, you can make money, like I said, whatever you want, as long as you pay it back in the same transaction, with interest. So people would say it's pretty low risk. So I use a simple example of Ethereum or a cryptocurrency on exchange A and exchange B. Very simple, but in real life, flash loans are much more complex. For example, you might take a flash loan of 10,000 Ethereum, use half of that Ethereum to mint compound or compound Ethereum or CETH, then use your CETH as collateral to borrow wrapped Bitcoin. And as you can see, this list goes on, they get much more complex. So you do need to know how to code and be a skill developer to execute a successful flash loan. But luckily, what I'm gonna show you right now is a much easier way where you can execute a flash loan with zero coding experience. And that's by using the application Furu Combo. With Furu Combo, you can do all sorts of things in the DeFi space with zero coding experience. And it's very easy. It's drag and drop, plug and play, beautiful user interface. For example, let's say we wanna earn passive income across different platforms. So over here, I just click this link and it brings me to a default setting. And in this default setting, it shows that I can take 0.2 Ethereum and convert it or swap it for DAI on Uniswap then take my new DAI, deposit it in Aave, and start earning interest. And it's really drag and drop. I can just replace these blocks. I can move them up and down. I can add new functions or new directions here. For example, you know, use Compound Protocol. And when it's all done, I just add my wallet. So if you're familiar with DeFi, it's pretty easy to enter. As long as you have a wallet, you simply connect it and boom, you're already in and you're, you're participating. So you can, uh, there was an error over here, but I have a MetaMask wallet here. I don't know why it's loading, but you can add your wallet and you can start participating in these protocols. And the reason this is possible is because in DeFi, it is said that the protocols work like money Legos. You can take a Lego here and a Lego, Lego there. You can put them together and you can build all sorts of combinations. For example, you can take a wallet use that wallet to interact with a lending protocol, and at the same time, use that wallet to interact with an exchange. In today's world, in traditional finance or with traditional applications, this is not possible. For example, you're not able to send money from Venmo 
to Cash App, and then you can take money on Cash App and use it to interact with Vanguard or Fidelity. But in DeFi, this is possible. So back to Furrow Combo for our flash loans. So if we go to this application, we can see over here at the bottom, we can make a flash loan with zero coding experience. So if I click here, it brings us to default settings. But I'm gonna remove these default settings and we're gonna start from scratch, okay? So I'm just gonna delete these over here. Remember, plug and play, super easy to use, beautiful inter interface. So we're gonna start by taking a flash loan from Aave. So we're gonna take 100 Ethereum as a flash loan. And remember, we don't need to put up any initial funds for this because we're taking a flash loan. As long as we borrow it and repay it in the same transaction, then we're good to go. And you'll notice as soon as I create this flash loan, it creates a second block to repay the flash. And remember, you're borrowing it, it needs to be repaid. Now back to our picture over here. Remember, you take the flash loan, now you can go wild, you can do whatever you want. So let's go wild, or not so wild, we're just gonna make it a little more complex than our earlier example of just using Ethereum or you know, a cryptocurrency on exchange A and exchange B. We're gonna make it a little more, a little more complex. So we're gonna add a block here. So we took out our $100,000, sorry, not $100,000, 100 Ethereum, although you could take out a flash loan for $100,000 worth of Ethereum. And we're gonna take it and we're gonna swap our 100 Ethereum for DAI. And we're gonna set that. And remember, we can drag and drop it. Everything has to go in between. So we took out the loan, we're gonna pay it back. So we can go wild now in between. So in this example, hypothetically speaking, let's say DAI was trading for 98 cents on Uniswap. But on another exchange, on Kyber, it was trading for $1. So we see a price discrepancy here. So we're gonna take our new DAI and we're gonna add another transaction. Remember, we can go wild. We're gonna go to Kyber Swap. We are going to take our DAI, right? 100% of it, and we're gonna swap it back to Ethereum. Set that, drag it here. And this is our flash loan. So we're gonna, we're gonna go through it from the beginning. So we take out a flash loan of 100 Ethereum, no collateral. Then we, sorry about that. Then we take our newly borrowed 100 Ethereum, swap it for DAI, trading at 98 cents on Uniswap then take that die that we got for 98 cents on Uniswap, transfer it over to Kyber, and then on Kyber it's selling for $1. So we sell it, we make a profit, back to Ethereum, and we pay back our loan. So like I said, this is just hypothetically speaking, because as we can see, this flash loan that I have right here would not be successful because we actually will lose Ethereum in this case. We're not gonna be able to pay back our loan. And the reason this is happening is because Furio Combo has price oracles connected to it. Over here, you can see refresh price. It's connected to these exchanges. And at the moment, there is no arbitrage or opportunity. So this only works. It's only successful. Remember, these flash loans, they either happen in full, it's borrowed and repaid, or it doesn't happen at all. So we need to make sure to look out for those arbitrage opportunities. Now here are the downsides with something like Furu Combo. Number one, it even says it right here on the application on the website, that Furu Combo is beta software and it should be treated as highly unstable, use at your own risk. So although flash loans are considered low risk because you don't have to put up collateral, there can be problems in the smart contracts, in the protocols, especially with an application like Furu Combo. So maybe something you just might want to experiment with with very small amounts. And another downside of Furu Combo is that it's pretty limited in the protocols, in the exchanges or in the lending and borrowing protocols that you can use. If we go to DeFiPrime.com, we can see that when it comes to decentralized exchanges, there are 36 different ones, but Furu Combo only offers a few. Furu Combo doesn't have AirSwap, it doesn't have Bancor, it doesn't have Balancer, it doesn't have Curve, it doesn't have DYDX, which are some of the more popular places that people exchange their cryptocurrency. And on top of that, it doesn't have all of the lending protocols. It has Aave, it has Compound, 
but it doesn't have Fulcrum. It doesn't have Nuo Network. So that's another downside of these flash loan of Fruit Combo for these flash loans. And then the last one I want to speak about is user risk. And this is present across all platforms. This has nothing to do with the protocols themselves or the applications. This has to do with the user not taking good care or taking the right precautions with their cryptocurrency. They might hold a large amount of cryptocurrency on their wallet, such as MetaMask, and maybe they didn't secure their password. So this is definitely overall a very cool feature. People with no coding experience can now participate in these complex DeFi protocols. And the most important thing about flash loans is time. When there is an opportunity for arbitrage, there is a price discrepancy. As soon as you notice it, a person needs to take advantage and execute because it might not be available just a few moments later or a few minutes later. And the second part about time is that as more people jump into the space, these opportunities for arbitrage will likely decrease or go away. The people that are using flash loans are acting as market makers. They're helping correct the price of an asset across multiple exchanges. And as bigger players get in, companies and especially bots, these opportunities for profiting off arbitrage will likely go away. But for the time being, this is definitely a very cool and interesting feature of DeFi. And without any coding experience, you can start practicing today by using Furio Combo. I hope that you found value in today's video. If you like this content, I want you right now to go down below and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.